Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, I'm inspired today. I've been watching a lot of Wyndham Clark playing some golf and um, the man's a genius. I, I think he's going, <laughs> I think he's going places. Oh yes, I do. Um, so uh, yeah, based on that, I'm going to come back and have another crack at this today. We were five under par within six of the lead and came back on day two and just totally stacked it really badly so i'm disappointed in myself but um i know we could do this i know we could do this i just got to relax and play smart just like wyndham clark does so we're going uh to florida open and we're going to be ponte vedra beach in florida uh, the player stadium course at tpc sawgrass this will be a nice course i could definitely do something here leslie walsh is nine under par we have a target between four. Here we go. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida and TPC Sawgrass, live opening round coverage of the Florida Open. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. A oh, lot of folks that. fighting for the title, including our leader, that's a tricky one. Okay. Keep it nice and central. Let's see what our thumb's doing today. Bang on, dead straight. And then that. Oh my God. Thank you, lady in pink. I owe you one. The tee, straight out of the gate. God damn! Really so much will depend on the lie. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. 157 yards left. Ball sitting up very nicely in the rough. I am going to, I think, drop a club. Drop a club. Aim it high. Let the wind take it. I could be all right. I could be on the green dancing. All righty, good start. Always a good shot in the rough, but now a chance for a birdie. So that's a good approach shot. Gonna have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill, and the hole is cut back. It was quite high up. I'm gonna go forty feet. And I'm going to bring it all the way over to there. Let's see how we get on. Not enough. Not enough. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay at even par. Five hundred thirty-two yard par five second here at TPC Sawgrass. Not long as par fives go, but there is trouble, and that is classic Pete Dye. Still, if you play this the right way, you can get out of here with an eagle three. Yeah, I'd love to pull an eagle out of this one. That'd be fantastic. So the wind is pulling us in ever so slightly. I think if we just hit a, a dead straight. No messing about shot we'll be in a good position no damage done after missing the first fairway but he should like this one a little bit better here at number two all righty so we're going to go with a finesse shot like a three from there i want it to be high obviously slightly 
wind is slightly against us so if we aim at it bring it slightly left because well are we going to hit the tree that's the problem isn't it here we go that's not terrible could have been slightly better Good second shot that last bounce a little unlucky but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five Alrighty. Oh, look at the touch. That's really well done. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. So if we can pull a birdie every two holes, that's nine under par, and we're competing with the lead. That's my plan. Setting up for the third hole here at TPC Sawgrass, relatively short par three at 177 yards. But you've got to carry that ball at least four or five yards onto this green, even when it's firm. A bit risky. <clears throat> Looks nice and straight. Could have done with a bit more. Okay, that one's dancing. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. It's all uphill, isn't it? Let's go for 40 feet. Stop shuffling your feet. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh! I think that's what you want to do. Good lag, pal. Yeah, they can't all go in. I wish they bloody would, though. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll remain at one under par. Okay, so we're looking for a birdie on this one, if possible. Frank, how important is positioning off the tee here? Well, we saw a positional tee shot at one and two. This is another one here at four. Okay, yeah. I see it. So that's like 150 to the T. I hit it low. I think we'll be all right. We don't need to do anything too clever here. It's nice and clean if possible. Ah, uh, too much. I did not mean to over hit that, I'll be honest. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. So, from the rough is second here at the fourth. Give us a bit of extra height. I just want it to sit down. How much is that wind going to affect me? Alrighty. Hmm. Uh, Ball's on the green, I know that, but uh, I'm looking at the flag, and I don't see the ball by the flag. This is not good. <laughs> okay, we're going to be aiming all the way over here, and probably about 42 feet. A 
that's not enough and that's gonna go in the water oh stop 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 oh, stop stop oh that's not what you're hoping for in a birdie putt that'll go all the way off oh that's that's tricky do not want to drop a shot here my god this is going to be a difficult shot to make Oh, we're going to drop shots here big time. Damn it. This is a tricky putt. Now a seven footer. This green is really fast. Oh, uh, good putt there. It's a bogey five here at the par four. Could have been much and worse. Move him back down to even par. Frank, the golf course toughens up right here at the long par four fifth. Yeah, when you play it off the, the, the back tee, 470 yards, it's nearly 320 yards to that last bunker down the left side. That really has to be in the back of your mind. The ideal tee shot, little left to right. So we know that the wind isn't really affecting much. Just need a nice clean shot here. Oh, that I was running that too close to the line. And that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. All right, we're going to play the five iron very high. See what happens. I don't think that wind is going to affect us very much, but we'll just give it a tiny bit of edge. Oh, crap. Should have stuck with the six. A good chip and a putt to get away with four here, but the tee shot on the bunker and then bunker to rough, and making this hole hard. Come on, baby. Looks good. Nearly went in. Oh, that's nice. Ball landed softly, and that's why it's a good decision, really, when you think about it. Ball sitting in the rough, not too bad. You want it to land soft, so the flop shot. Good decision. So he'll finish that off for his par, and it's going to keep him level for his round. Oh, dear. Well, Needs to play better than this. 93 yard par for sixth, and in fact, it was Pete Dye's favorite. He designed this golf course, and I think the reason he loved it so much was it incorporated all of the elements that he used in his design. It was visually intimidating, water trouble, and the premium on accuracy and strategic thinking. Got him right. Uh, cannot buy a straight yeah, shot right now. Cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. We're looking at 123 yards to the flag. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. Oh, God. Right, we're going to have to chip this little bad boy in. Come on, baby. Too much. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth, and he'll stay at level par. Seventh hole here at Sawgrass, Frank, a bit uncomfortable off the tee. It is. It reminds me a little bit of the opening Oops. hole, much longer version, where when you stand on the tee and look at the green, it's a straightaway hole. But that fairway goes to the left, and it comes back to the right. 
but they're all optical illusions. Nope, cannot hit straight today. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Frank, you've been there. What's the best way to approach this? Good Lord, look at this. The There's a lot of mounding on this uh, seventh green, you know, to the right and the left. You can use those mounds to kick the ball to the flag. That's better. Well, maybe not. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Go on. Yes. Oh, yes. Give me a piece to get up that slope. Flipping light over here is just starting blinking like a lunatic. What are you doing? Just behave yourself. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237 yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding Ugh. the green. What's the best approach? You come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. I've dropped so many clubs here, down to five iron. That's a good line. Come on, bounce on. Could have done with a bit more. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. I think we're going to have to flop this one in. Oh, that's what a great short game can do. Save a shot. Jamie didn't go in. Okay, that in four par here at the eight, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Okay, we really need an eagle here. Bring us three under par to give us any chance of catching so first place. The front nine with a 583 yard par five, one of the most spectacular par fives what in golf. What a bloody hole Great this is, look at that. The right and Stunning. On the left, stay out of that. This hole grows narrower as it unfolds. We're not gonna get an eagle here, this is tricky. I wanna be right in that gap. Ah, uh, it's going right. That is not good. And that will almost certainly necessitate a layup as that is into the bunker off the tee. Come on. Can't hit a straight shot today. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sand takes away any chance of going for the green in two, but this is a nice recovery here to get back on track. I'm going to come one to the left, actually. Oh, what am I going to do? So the lay that we're on is pushing us left quite a bit actually I think that's going to affect us more than the wind so I'm just going to bring it over here in the hope that I'm right In neither, golf, neither, you or. Mulligan, you'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just oh, that's very poor from that range. Oh, 
uphill. Go on, go on, go on. Oh. Nope. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And this will be a one under front side as he goes out in 35. Right, see if we can get the six under. That's our new target. Dog leg left with trees on the right and a large bunker down the left. Beautiful shot. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Now Noda his second from the fairway. 147 to the hole. The pin is in the front right part of the green. Here we go, baby. Nice bit of height. Good line. That could be good. Backspin. Ah, no backspin. It's I a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. I gave it a little bit extra because I was worried we weren't going to make it. This for birdie. It's downhill. It's kind of uphill and then downhill, isn't it? Come on, baby. We really need a birdie here. Oh God! Where was the break? Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. So that's in for par to start this backside, and he'll stay right where he is. Not good enough. I need a couple more birdies in here. Now the time to be aggressive. Par 5, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? Tee it high and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. All righty. Finally, a straight shot. But my thumb action was still crappy. And that is dead center right down the middle here to start the <coughs> hole. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a gamble. But he said, gamble it all. It's got a bit further to the right than I wanted. The line and length was perfect. Game. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. But how far is this going to roll? 10 yards, do you think? God. Way more than 10 yards. That's so annoying. Mm, so hard to gauge distance control and get that ball to come out the way you want it. This one going to be in the sand again. I need this to go in. Shame. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And he'll remain right where he is. You'd like a practice ground so you can see how far the ball rolls Frank with different clubs and such. Here. Yeah, good old length, short par four. Um, this green really divides itself into about three sections. Right, There's come a little on, piece then. to the right piece short left and the one at back left so as long as you know where the flag are flag as long as you know where the flag is just push that ball into the section where it is you get up there you're only going to have 10 or 15 feet left for birdie going a bit too far to the right 
we'll have a crack at trying to get on the green in one. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. I think we've got a chance there. Bit of a gamble, but I think we have a chance. That looks good. Could have been better. Could have been better. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. Oh, oh right by the hole. The needed a bit of extra power. Much. The short ones, they tend to sting. That Damn it. Safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll stay right where he is. Frank, so much focus on the back nine here at the stadium course of TPC Sawgrass on the 17th hole with the island green. I think 13 gets lost sometimes, but the pros know this is a really good hole. Oh, it can be disastrous too. That's, I think, what you're referring to, Rich. There's a big ridge in the middle of this green that bisects the top side with the bottom side on the left. So even when the flag's on that the left, nice. you don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. So something on the ridge can often run down towards the left. But we have seen the odd hole-in-one here over the years. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. Go on. Oh! How frustrating. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain right where he is. Oh, I'm concerned now. We may not make it to round two. Or may right, not make it through round so two, I should say. Pivotal hole here at the TPC Sawgrass. It is, Rich. And when you see a player hit two shots comfortably on this green, you think, what's all the problems about 14? But when you see someone stray left or stray right, you realize that 14 is a real bear. Yeah, I believe you. That's a damn good shot. Thumb action is not great still, but oh, look how that kicks! There. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Gentle six. Gentle six. Oh, crap. All those practice shots and then that. The length was perfect. Well, had a good lie in the fairway, but couldn't do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. We got lucky there, to be honest. Uh, uh, just nothing really on that chip shot. Just it's a waste. Uphill, gotta give it a bit. Go on, go on. Uh, that is well read, a terrific putt there. What a save. save! And he'll stay right where he is. Back to the TPC Sawgrass, the 15th hole. It's a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch. And Frank, what's in store for the players here? 
Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, ideally hit it tee shot down the right side, keeping it away from that bunker, but that's a flat bunker down the right with no lips, so it's still not too bad. Biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. Oh, crap. Ooh. I do not know what's going on with my thumb. I have to fight this a long way. His second out of the bunker. Going so far to the right. I could save us actually. I can flop it Doesn't on from there. Make the green on the fringe, but not too shabby out of the fairway bunker. This is a very tricky, tricky green. So I think this is the wise shot. Oh wow! The wind against us didn't do anything. This from about ten feet. That looks like it's breaking left to right to me, but the game is telling me it's breaking right to left. See? I, I, I could see it was breaking the other way, but it's more obvious from this side. Okay, no further damage. It's a bogey five. He's going to fall out of red figures, back down to even par. Ah, oh, so annoyed with myself here. Final stretch here at TPC Sawgrass with the reachable 523 yard par 516. More water, more Come on, bunker, baby. more trees, and a narrow approach. Just some of the challenges here. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. I'm going for it. That's a good shot. Oh, short. Three iron was the way to go then. Now this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. This is tricky. Did not go anywhere near where it was All supposed right, to. Not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Oh, it's broken the wrong way. Ah, oh, so close. Sneak on by. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16, and he'll remain right where he is. God damn it! I cannot seem to get. Under here, look at this, what a hole. Frank, it's the moment that makes it tough, isn't that right? Yeah, you've made that walk from 16 green. It's 80 yards to the tee here. So as you walk along and if your eyes venture to the right, you see it all in front of you. You see the crowd behind and you realize this is the shortest par three on the golf course. But you also, if you think a little too hard, everything that you've seen over the years flashes through your mind. Come on. Well, crowd like it. Well, I mean, there's nothing like this shot at 17 here. The island green, that ball's in the air. Two ways it can go, wet or dry. You're dry, and you're pretty happy. Oh! I had to go for it. I could see a line. I thought it was there. So close. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Really disappointed. 
Really disappointed. Come on. Bring us in under par. It is because the simple reason you've played 17 holes and the job isn't done yet. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second Ugh. from the fairway. Come on, baby. Straighten the hole, please. It's gone too far to the right and too long. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. The safety. Come on now. Ugh. Very disappointing. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the 18th green. And that will be an opening round of 72, even par. For the golfer we had our eye on. Youch! No other way to say it, Frank. Just not a real good day out there. It could be a short week, Rich. Um, um, we can complain about the conditions and that, but look at the leaderboard. Uh, the rest of the field, they didn't have a problem. So that'll do it for Stop my partner true. here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour. Yeah, and I just want to say thank you for watching, guys. An even par is not uh, a death sentence, but my gosh, we have to go round in six or seven under on the next round. We can do it. We should have done so much better today. I just wasn't playing particularly well. Hopefully, I'll rectify that in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye for now. Oh, goodbye for now. Begin recording.